It's a long countdown. <laughs> Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Bob Long, a uh, program analyst in the Office of Performance Review. Welcome to our first ever, first ever Spotlight on Excellence Awards. And I'm Candace Wurzer. I'm also a program analyst. And I'm Candace Wordsworth. I'm also a program analyst, and I'd like to recognize our distinguished guest today. We have with us um, Richard Lobo, who's the director of the IBB, and we have David Ensor, director of the VOA, and um, joining us remotely will be uh, Guillermo Santa Cruz from OCB. OPR's uh, mission, we gotta put a plug in for OPR here, is to promote quality journalism, best practices, and operational efficiency by means of rigorous, impartial research and analysis in support of BBG strategic goals. So this is part of our job, shining some light on examples of the work that we think best define excellence in what we do. Of course, the key to any program critique or analysis is grasping what works and why. Rewarding these efforts is really difficult because every office and every service has its own examples of excellence. And it really would be possible to hand out all of the awards to a single service. But of course, then that would miss our point. And we'd have to call these the floodlight awards <laughs> instead of the spotlight awards, uh, which are made without regard to program popularity or geopolitical clout. They exist to spotlight the fact that examples of excellence can be found all around us, whether by dint of strong resources and honored traditions or by the extraordinary vision and persistence of a few. So before we examine um, the exceptional work that we chose to recognize this year, let's hear from OPR Director Kalu Chow. I'm really excited about today's event. Oftentimes, during the program review, you heard us, this is a good, but <laughs> today, right now, we will get rid of the but and uh, to focus solely on this is a good part. And uh, I also think this is a great opportunity to uh, publicly recognize the services uh, with some outstanding work uh, to a much wider audience than just traditionally program review venues. So it is my great uh, pleasure to introduce today's uh, presenters and host. Um, you know, the Oscar ceremonies may have uh, his own Billy Crystal, but he has nothing on our very own IBB director, Dick Lobo. <laughs> I didn't realize so many people would show up to hear me speak this morning, but thank you for coming. <laughs> and I have a feeling the free food might have something to do with it too, and the <laughs> cold air outside. But um, as you already know, our terrific Office of Performance Review has an annual evalu evaluation process that affords it a very unique perspective on the content that VOA and OCB offers its audiences. This process helps protect the integrity of our mission and it helps us stay relevant and stimulating to the people worldwide who depend on us for accurate news and information. This review also allows our OPR analysts to look objectively at a wide cross-section of our programming and in the process to observe the strength and best practices of every service. And our Board of Governors and our agency management believe very strongly that rewarding best practices is a very good way to improve our overall performance agency-wide. So today's Spotlight on Excellence Awards were created by OPR to do just that, and perhaps, perhaps to help boost morale here at the agency by letting our broadcasters, directors, web producers, and everyone involved in our critical mission to know that their good work is very much appreciated. So thanks to you, Kilu, and to your wonderful staff for putting today's event uh, together and for helping make this possible. Congratulations. Uh, in addition to a handsome certificate, our winners today will receive a high definition camcorder so we can get even more work out of them next year. <laughs> Just a suggestion if you want to get nominated again. 
<laughs> Our first Spotlight Award category is Excellence in Journalism. And the nominees are the Chimera Service for its special report, Chimera Rouge War Tribunal. The uh, nominating program analyst said of this report, when a news organization attracts the wrath of a restrictive government, it's probably doing something right. <laughs> the analyst also cited the exceptional scope of the service's reporting and the fact that its themes stood in stark contrast to regime media, quote, dominated by endless coverage of government officials wandering through rice paddies. The Burmese Service for its examination of nation building featuring Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi. The nominating analyst noted the service did an exceptional job keeping up with the rapid page, pace of change in Burma and cited Aung San Suu Kyi's recent visit to the service as evidence of the programming credibility and impact. Uh, the Somali Service is recognized for its new audience forum, Constitutional Square. Uh, the nominating analyst was impressed by the in inclusive nature of the program and the high quality of its discussion about the nation's draft constitution. He also noted that OPR research in country shows that virtually all Somalis consider the services reporting trustworthy and that uh, three-fourths of the population interviewed consider it very trustworthy, very high score. And? Oh, okay. Okay, and the winner of the Spotlight on Excellence in Journalism is the Khmer Service for War Cart. <laughs> Their war crimes trial coverage was described as nothing less than courageous. Accepting the award is, can you? Somebody come up and get yeah. your loot. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't some more swag for you. <laughs> Fantastic. I was said to speak for a minute. If you like. Um, I, I could thank a whole lot of people for this, and, and I won't go through the long list, but the short list in Washington are Kim Sang and Poe and Penn, who are three of our main journalists here in Washington. We're also, also really blessed to have three stringer reporters in Cambodia. Uh, Kong Sotana Ritt is our beat reporter on the tribunal. Uh, Hang Raz May and Simone is our TV uh, video journalist in Cambodia. Super important to being able to cover this thing credibly, uh, obviously, if it's going on in Cambodia. Uh, and just one last point. I, I read the New York Times business section today, and the lead story was about CNN worldwide. I don't know how many of you all saw that article, but uh, you know they're under a lot of pressure to make a profit, to get ratings, and they talk about how that's impacting their journalism. And it just reminded me how blessed we are to work here, and we can focus on journalism and quality and uh, serving our audience, you know, striving for excellence. And uh, it's just a good reminder, these awards today and that article today, and uh, thanks again. <laughs> Um, we're moving on to uh, excellence in the presentation, and the first nominee is the Indonesian service. The um, nominating analyst admired the way the service contributes reports and features seamlessly to its many strong affiliates, thus becoming, in his words, members of the Indonesian broadcasting family. The magazine show Dunya Quinta, or Our World, was cited for its lively tempo, savvy layout, and engaging hosts. 
The Uzbek Service was nominated for its weekly television magazine, Exploring America. <laughs> the nominating analyst was taken with a combination of high energy on-air talent, skilled editing, attention to detail, and the ability to repurpose house material in a creative and imaginative way. The uh, Ukrainian service was, I was trying to let it breathe there for, a second, <laughs> okay. for the TV audience. <laughs> the Ukrainian service was recognized for its TV production, Chaz Time, <laughs> which I probably mispronounced, but it's the same word in two languages. The nominating analyst was struck by the service's use of animated graphics and online polls to communicate with an audience that obviously thoroughly understands. She further noted the imaginative variety of story selection and treatment. And the winner of the Spotlight on Excellence Award for this year for presentation is the Indonesian Service. <laughs> It's been described as an indispensable window on the world for all of Indonesia. Come on up. Step right up here. I'm so excited. I, we really weren't expecting to win anything today. And I, I don't have a speech prepared. And I, first of all, I have to thank my wife and, and, and my girlfriend and my hairdresser. Um, <laughs> yeah, you know I'm lying. Um, uh, seriously, um, the Indonesian service is blessed with a, a lot of talent. I'm obviously not one of them. Uh, and uh, uh, they make it all seem very natural, and uh, um, they do it without even a, a second thought. Um, I, I think it's also important uh, for us to recognize all the people you know, in the studio, the light guy and the camera guy and the makeup people and the, in the, in the, in the uh, radio studios, the uh, engineers who, who make us sound good. Um, you know, without all of those little tricks of the trade, uh, we might not be uh, up here um, for presentation. It's also, it's also an honor for us because uh, there's a lot of talent in this building. And uh, to, to be recognized this way is, uh, is very rewarding, uh, and we're very grateful. Finally, I want to congratulate uh, the Office of Performance Review because uh, they're doing these awards. And um, I, what can I say? It's about time. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you, you, of all the people uh, in the building who know what we're doing, uh, what, what we're all doing, it's the people in the Office of Performance Review. They're the ones who can uh, compare uh, all of us uh, with some legitimacy. Uh, and so I, this is, that makes these awards that much more meaningful. So thank you very much. Page five now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, that's right. All right. In the um, category of technical excellence, the Spotlight Award nominees are the Mandarin Service for Cultural Odyssey, the nominating analyst found many things to like about this program, particularly the creative editing, which gives Odyssey much of its unparalleled verve and style. He considered it an excellent example of how technical mastery can lead the way in setting the tone and tempo of a broadcast. 
The Office of Cuba Broadcasting is nominated for its production, El Revoltilil. <laughs> Roughly translated, that means scramble, as in eggs. The nominating analyst was impressed with how skillfully a radio show was turned into a quality television program and how the audience was thoroughly integrated into the program. The Vietnamese service is recognized for its website. <laughs> the nominating analyst was impressed by its, quote, quick turnaround of information and excellent use of Metadata, or is it metadata? <laughs> uh, earning the service prominence in Google searches and making it the second most frequently visited site in VOA. She was also struck by the service's intense attention to detail, resulting in a seamless transition to Pangea with no loss of traffic, a truly remarkable accomplishment. And this year's OPR Spotlight Award for Technical Excellence goes to the Vietnamese service. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we're overwhelmed <laughs> uh, with the um, threat of being cut and uh, everything. Uh, um, go and uh, short of any of, of staff and then stuff. We we are amazed that we can win this. So my uh, special thanks goes to the web team, uh, Stephanie too, and Chow and uh, more people who are not here because they're still working up there. <laughs> and um, uh, uh, of course we uh, the. We couldn't have done that such a good job without the support of our EAP uh, director, William Baum, our <laughs> managing editor, Jing Zhang, and our uh, uh, internet managing editor, Martha Towns, is not here today. <laughs> and of course, um, uh, we would like uh, to uh, uh, appreciate the help of uh, our executive producer Susan Jackson <laughs> yeah who helped a lot in um, our making our uh, website uh, more lively with the um, a webcast daily webcast so I I couldn't be more appreciative to the uh, BBG for this award uh, it's surely an uh, um, uh, 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 an in a great encouragement for us to continue to do our job in shedding a spotlight. Mazel tov. Oh, swag, swag. You got it all there? Okay, okay, great. It was hard to get this stuff, you know. Um, next up is the re relevance category. And uh, the Persian News Network is nominated. <laughs> for excellence and relevance for its production, Streets of Life. The nominating analyst was impressed with the fresh graphic package and host involvement in a series that tackles issues of everyday life rarely visited by traditional news media. The English to Africa service is recognized for its production of South Sudan in Focus. The nominating analyst wrote, with South Sudan's independence, the program has become the go-to radio destination for the young country. The small staff that produces the program focuses acutely on the needs and interests of that target market. The Office of Cuba Broadcasting is nominated for excellence and relevance <laughs> for bringing Estado de Sats to light. Calling itself Cuba without permission, Estado de Sats is actually produced by dissidents inside Cuba and smuggled out to OCB. 
but not without cost. Producer host Antonio Rodiles was arrested November 7th, beaten, and spent 19 days in jail. He got out two days ago. And the Spotlight Award for Excellence in, Revel in Re Relevance goes to the Office of Cuba Broadcasting for Estado de Sats. Accepting the award, OPR award via fiber is Guillermo Santa Cruz. I'm in Miami. Yeah. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. As, as Carlos likes to say, it's always a great day at the Martis. And indeed, today it is uh, a great day for us. Thank you for, for recognizing this work. Uh, it obviously means a lot to us. We're very appreciative of all the work that is done by the Office of Program Review. Uh, Kalu, John, Bob, the entire team, thank you so much. We couldn't do what we do uh, without you. Uh, this award is particularly meaningful to us because as Bob mentioned, the show is produced mostly in Cuba and smuggled out to us. Antonio Rodiles, who today we recognized uh, here with us, there's, you know, there's his chair. Uh, he can't be here with us today. Uh, as Bob mentioned, he was let out of jail two nights ago after serving 19 days for basically fighting for freedom of speech and for the human rights that should be recognized in every country around the world. I know Vanessa wanted to say some words also. Thank you, Guillermo. I just wanted to say that we are humbled and we are honored to accept this award on behalf of Antonio Rodiles and everybody who is involved in making this program in Cuba. Um, I consider ourselves simply the messengers of this very important program that every day that passes we see has more and more relevance uh, as to what is happening in everyday Cuba today. So thank you again. Yermo, yeah, the beard looks great. We appreciate this recognition on behalf of everybody at the Thank you. I'd, I'd, I'd also like to add that the uh, program has been uh, no nominated for a Miami Area Emmy Award. Before we go to the next. <laughs> um, our next category is Unique VOA OCB Quality. A Spotlight Award nomination goes to English Music Mix for the program Border Crossings. The broadcast was cited by the nominating analyst as independent, unscripted, displaying a rarity and depth that few shows can match. The Urdu service is recognized for its production, Sana a Pakistani. The nominating analyst notes, <laughs> This 30-minute TV program is unlike anything else available in the market, viewing life in America through the eyes of a young Pakistani woman who has just arrived in the country. He also notes that it is further distinguished by its even-handed, non-judgmental approach. The Turkish service is nominated for its unique feature, Motocicleta Kids America Da! I can say that because I lived in Istanbul. It means a motorcycle girl in America. And the nominating analyst notes that this is content that simply can't be seen anywhere else, taking advantage of a services reporter's adventurous hobby to see America through a special lens. And the winner is the Urdu service for Sana a Pakistani. It's been described as a one-of-a-kind pleasure to watch.
don't have uh, a speech ready, but uh, extremely honored and happy uh, to receive this award on behalf of our great team and great service. Uh, and it won't be complete without thanking the leadership at VOA and IBB. And let me just tell you what happened. Uh, this uniqueness actually transpired after uh, David Ansor paid a visit to our service, along with Maya and our beloved director, Espozmai. And he inspired us to do something unique, just, you know, other than what we've been doing for so long. And we started this program in August, and lo and behold, it's been very popular in Pakistan. We have been receiving some good um, feedback. And so happy and honored again to be recognized by our fellows uh, at OPR. And congratulations to them, actually, to you know, uh, come up with this idea to recognize uh, the good work at VOA. And it wouldn't be complete without uh, the sadly, the sad part of uh, uh, this event is the host of the show is not here. She's overseas. Her uh, father is ill in Pakistan, so she had to leave uh, for Pakistan. Uh, but this is the uniqueness of the program is that the whole show is revolves Basically, I mean, it revolves around her. She's the main person, and that's the, the uniqueness of, I think, and also it's been extremely popular. Uh, anything that I left out, uh, Joy? Uh, she's our wonderful senior executive producer, uh, has done a great job, and uh, at least uh, Aisha is here. She has done a uh, few I things for the <laughs> team. Is. I asked them to come, but you know, they just, uh, I think it's too much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, yes, there was a lot of, uh, Maya came to our service almost every day in the planning uh, days when we were planning the show, and uh, everything was basically planned uh, and discussed in those meetings. Thank you very much, Maya, for being a great support. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, okay, the final spotlight award today, and let me just mention that uh, unless you were reviewed in the past fiscal year, uh, you, you didn't qualify. Unless we've looked at you, you, you couldn't qualify. And we hope to expand uh, our categories, uh, not categories, but our, our scope of work uh, next year. Get a bigger venue, too. That's right. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Soft rollout. <Yeah. laughs> uh, our final award for excellence in audience engagement, the Russian service is nominated for Podolis. <laughs> I'm told that means share. The nominating analyst cited great use of user-generated con uh, content with an engaged following across all Russian social media platforms. The Persian News Network is, <laughs> is recognized for straight talk. The nominating analyst was impressed with how the service worked with broadcast operations to develop an internet protocol to make participation in this sharply focused program safer for users of social media inside of Iran. The Office of Cuba Broadcasting is nominated for Motorbike Giveaway, a hugely successful radio and TV marti promotion. The nominating analyst noted that the giveaway was produced in such an entertaining way as to resonate with the Cuban spirit. I made that up. Because <laughs> yeah. you are on. Um, There's a postscript to this. <laughs> the people in Cuba were offered six kind of moped motorbikes and thousands of people flooded the station with entries, but then the Cuban government wouldn't let us send the awards to the people there, so they're still sitting in my hands. So we'll A fleet of bikes and We're gonna have to give it back to the ah. <laughs> We'll find a way. We'll figure something. A couple of lifesavers and float it on down. And the OPR Spotlight Award for Excellence in Audience Engagement this year goes to the Russian service.
Then you have to move the bush. <laughs> Another first for Spotlight Award. We're ecstatic to be getting this award. And um, I prepared a little speech, but I'm too excited to remember it. But what I wanted to say is I think it's uh, the genuine product of efforts of the whole VOA. It, it, it's amazing how it all came together. Everyone at VOA, all the production, all the management, you know, uh, for continuing support of the new ideas and initiatives. It started with ideas, and I wanted to thank Sheila and Kenneth and Gareth who came out with this amazing idea and kind of stimulated us to go along, and Rebecca supported us with new programs, you know, new initiatives. And also, the first meeting we had for Podilis was like, I don't know, 50 people from all different departments came together to, to help us with studios, help us with the look, helps us with presentation. But, so thank you very much, everyone. But I also wanted to recognize our team. Ama amazing creativity, ingenuity, you know, the ability to work, um, you know, re react to everything that's happening in live show that is based on social media input. It's amazing, you know, it's, most of our guests come through Skype from various locations in Russia or all over America or something, and anything can happen in a show like that, and you guys know that. You know, guests are late or stuck in traffic, or you know what, Skype goes down or something. I mean, our anchors, we have anchors, several anchors here, Igor and Yulia, our amazing producers who are very ready. And I want to recognize the whole team. Please get up, everyone. Because at the live show, even little, little thing, can, can actually spoil the show, even if anchors are amazing. I don't know, picture doesn't come up or something. So our studio crews and our amazing team, thank you very much for letting us do it, and we're very excited to continue. And thank you, Program Review, for recognizing that. That was amazing, especially it was a total surprise to us. It was, you know, we usually think, but program review, you know. <laughs> that, that was the right <laughs> introduction that Kelo gave us. But today, thank you very much, everyone, and we will keep doing it and hope to strive for excellence in the coming years. Thank you very much. All right, uh, sir. David, please, please. This one's warmed up too. Okay. Well, I haven't prepared any remarks either, uh, and uh, so I won't thank my mother or anybody. Uh, uh, but but I would like to thank all of you, uh, and, and especially thank Kalu and her team for for putting this together. It, it, it's wonderful to see the best work in the place uh, recognized. There were, there's a lot of other good work going on here that hasn't been recognized today, but there'll be the same event next year, right? Another chance. And you'll be reviewing more of the language services that you didn't get to this year, too. So uh, there's support groups. Uh, wonderful. To embrace the whole house. Terrific. Anyway, uh, we won a lot at VOA. We did well. Um, and some really fine services won, and some others were nominated that were excellent as well. So congratulations to all, and again, thank you very much, OPR, for holding this today. All right, well, thank all of you for uh, coming out and uh, supporting our maiden effort at, uh, you know, being good cops occasionally. It's okay. <laughs> And um, we also want to thank our colleagues in uh, Human Resources, Graphics, and Creative Services for all of their support uh, putting this program together. Thank you. Thank you. Adios. Okay. <laughs>